Eric, we're going to cross over uh, the Atlantic. Yes. So uh, Eric has been working with, uh, uh, with DBR since 1994, yes. uh, working as technical director or assistant technical director in the Bordeaux properties, then ran um, since 2004 Domaine Dossier, which is in the Languedoc, in Corbière. Uh, so was responsible for renovating or reviving uh, the, the, the purchase there. And since 2008, is responsible for everything outside of Bordeaux. So all the estates that DBR uh, own outside of Bordeaux. So that is uh, Ossier still, but also Los Vascos, uh, Bodegas Caro, and now DBR Citic in, uh, in China. So exactly. that's quite, uh, quite a portfolio of uh, properties. So we're going to taste wines from both uh, Argentina and from Chile yes. uh, with you this morning, including uh, the new wine uh, from, uh, uh, from uh, Los Vascos, uh, yes. which is the Carmen Air, which is a new adventure for uh, DBR. Thank you for the introduction, uh, Wendy. Yes, and uh, before to speak about the estate and the, and the wine of uh, Los Vascos and, uh, and Caro, it's important to, to say that for, um, for me, it's important to, <clears throat> to speak after, uh, after the Bordeaux wines and particularly after, after Charles, because uh, before to go in, uh, in Chile, Argentina and, uh, and other countries, uh, the history of, uh, of DBR begin in, um, in France, in Bordeaux, and particularly in, uh, in Lafitte. And then the, the experience and the, the, the knowledge uh, before arrive from, uh, from Bordeaux, mm -hmm. from Lafitte before, du Milan, Rio Sec, and l'Evangile. And then uh, only a um, hundred years later, uh, in 1999, uh, it begins with, uh, with Chile, where uh, the Bear was the, the first non-speaking Spanish company mm -hmm. uh, in, the, in the wine, in, in the vineyard. And then it was a, a real a strong uh, pioneer experience at this, uh, at this time. And when uh, the Bear create and develop a vineyard in other country, uh, we always apply the same, uh, the same method, mm -hmm. which is based on uh, observation, a stronger observation uh, uh, of, the, of, the, of the climate, of the, um, of, the, of the technique, the culture, the tradition of the people, what they do, why they do that. Mm -hmm. And it's very, very, very important because uh, uh, for us, we are sure that um, that is the best way to, 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 to find the best expression of the wines. It's an adaptation of knowledge, adaptation of experience mm -hmm. to other country. It's not a simple transfer because mm -hmm. the objective is never to do uh, Bordeaux wines in other country. Mm -hmm. the, 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 our objective is always to find the stronger expression of the grapes, of the terroir, uh, of the tradition in all the country, and uh, that's why uh, the wine from uh, from DBR uh, are always very characteristic from each country, but with a touch of uh, of Bordeaux and a touch of uh, of, uh, of Lafitte sometimes. Uh, and uh, if uh, without that, you just make uh, some sort of Bordeaux in yes, another country or true. sort of, uh, of Bourgogne in another country and we think that it's not uh, interesting to... There's very much to, a respect for the local tradition, yes, the local yes. people. Yes, yes, and all the country have a strong culture of yes. vineyard usually. Then that's why it's important to respect that mm. and without this method it's not, I think it's not possible to find the best expression mm. of, uh, of the terroir. It's, it's very interesting when you think of Lafitte, you think of a very traditional um, Bordeaux, uh, chateau to see how dynamic and how forward-thinking uh, the DBR has been in all these ventures, uh, making accessible wines in Bordeaux or being the pioneers uh, abroad too. It's very exciting to see that marriage of the old, the traditional, the new and the innovative yes. uh, that come together and I think show Absolutely. very clearly in these wines. And then in 1988, wines. it began in, the, in Los Vascos, which is managed uh, for more than 25 years now, like, mm. like a chateau. The, yes. the great particularity yeah. of, of, of Los Vascos is that uh, uh, it's a chateau, a chateau of almost 600 hectares, but we, this is the biggest, chateau, the biggest excuse me, estate of, mm -hmm. uh, of, uh, of Colchagua, uh, because uh, uh, we have only one vineyard in the same place, and uh, uh, sometimes we can purchase grape 
from other uh, from other um, producers terroir, mm -hmm. but uh, the eighty percent of our production uh, came from our uh, estates okay. uh, in Colchagua, concentrate on this uh, on uh, on this terroir. Okay, so this gives you a consistency, presumably, from one vintage to the next. Oh yes, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, in in Chile, in South America, usually, uh, in generally, there is less effect of the vintage okay. because uh, uh, it's not like in, in Bordeaux because the, the climate uh, can be very different, and in France, in a lot of country, mm -hmm. can be very different. It it makes the difference between the vintage. Uh, in South America, there is less effect. There is an effect, but mm -hmm. less. Mm -hmm. But what, what you say is right. Uh, the, the, the fact that we are a, a big a single estate uh, makes the, the regularity and the consistency of, uh, of the wine. This is a new wine. Yes, we. So. <laughs> yes, uh, and particularly interesting uh, because uh, um, the, 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 the history of Carmener. The history of Carmener uh, uh, is, um, is, is very particular because uh, you know that this, this grape is a whole grape from Bordeaux, one yes. of the oldest grape. From, from Bordeaux with the Cabernet Franc, even before the Cabernet Sauvignon, in the, uh, uh, before the, the Phylloxera crisis. Mm -hmm. And after the crisis, uh, because it was a not easy grape to, to, to grow, it disappeared mm -hmm. uh, and, and remained only the, 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 the Merlot, the, the Cabernet Franc, and the, the Cabernet Sauvignon, of course, and a little bit of Petit Verdot. But, uh, and this grape, uh, almost disappear in the world, and then uh, was rediscovered in, in in Chile, in uh, very close to Los Vascos, in Colchagua Valley, in a vineyard, and then uh, in the middle of Merlot, they identify and recognize after genetic study that uh, it was Carmener, which is a sort of son of uh, of a Cabernet Franc and uh, un gros Cabernet, which is a very rare grape. <laughs> Today, but uh, it's clearly a grape from of the, the family of the of, of the Cabernet. Mm -hmm. and it it makes is similar similar similitude sometime with the, the Cabernet mm -hmm. Franc, particularly mm -hmm. uh, in okay. my uh, in my opinion. So this is the first time you've done a single varietal Cabernet. Yes, but not exactly because uh, uh, so, so somewhere uh, the the wine from Los Vascos, mm -hmm. uh, Le Dix de Los Vascos, and Cabernet Sauvignon uh, Los Vascos are most uh, uh, very very majoritarily uh, Cabernet Sauvignon. Okay. More than eighty five percent of Cabernet Sauvignon. Okay. That they are uh, almost uh, varietal wines. Okay. But with the Carmener, I, I, I will say that we are uh, we are looking for perhaps a more pure expression of okay. the of the variety yes and, uh, and uh, if possible we will try to do always 100% which is not we are not obliged it's possible to use 15% of mm -hmm. other grapes but for us uh, because we this grape is particularly interesting with a strong character we will try each year to use 100% of uh, okay. of carmenere Describe this wine to us. Why would yes. you put it there? Yeah, in the noise, I recognize the very, the very classic. I said to you that the Carmenere have the, the Carmenere have a strong character. Mm -hmm. you, you immediately recognize this very particular freshness, mm -hmm. which is close for some people to greenness. But I, I, I will say, I, I will say that this freshness, greenness for other people. Is a, it is not a vegetal note, it's a varietal note. This mm -hmm. is the, the real expression of the, the Carmener in, uh, in, in Chile and the, this uh, hot, very hot climate. Sometime, uh, because of the, 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 the warm, uh, then the, the, almost the, the, the maturation is uh, almost stopped, and the, even if they are very, very mature, the, <coughs> the wine can keep this. Uh, this very fresh, Freshness. close mm -hmm. to greenness notes, mm -hmm. but for me it's a um, very clear varietal uh, expression. Mm -hmm. yeah. You always find uh, green, um, you, you, green paper, green pepper, uh, bell peppers, good, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. also uh, uh, laurel. Yes, so yes. it's a, it's a, 
always very spicy, Bailey. always yeah. very spicy, yeah. and then it's uh, um, the the noise is very very characteristic. Mm -hmm. It's very ripe on the palate, though. Uh, very uh, very fruit driven, very ripe on the palate. And in the mouth, this is the same. We are we are, we are close to we are close to to, to greenness, mm. but but uh, but when when you feel how sweet are the yeah. tannins, yeah. Exactly. Mm -mm. it means that the very wine is is matured. Yeah. Because uh, you are close to greenness with very sweet, very round, very soft tannins. And then this is the expression of, uh, of, of Carmenere. And again, a wine that's very accessible now for me. This oh, is yes. drinking beautifully yes, already. Yes, because yeah. the, the character, one, one of the characteristics is to have a very low, very low acidity, mm -hmm. some, sometimes too low for, mm -hmm. for the winemakers. And uh, it makes the, that it's very, uh, very easy, uh, very, very round in the mouth mm -hmm. and uh, always very 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 drinkable young but uh, in the same time you feel that the, the, the tannins have a, we have a good concentration and uh, the wines have a, a real good capacity for for, for, for aging. aging for aging what would you serve this wine with eric uh, for for this wine and then because it's a uh, it's very uh, very very spicy uh, very fresh i i, I will say that uh, uh, what I like very much in, in, in Chile, uh, for example, is uh, uh, all meat barbecue, mm. all meat barbecue uh, uh, with uh, grilled vegetables, very mm. without sauce, uh, spicy uh, vegetables, uh, pepper, tomatoes, uh, potatoes, and and uh, I think it's a very um, this this spicy note gives this capacity mm -hmm. to be blended with uh, barbecue and uh, and vegetables. Yeah. It's delicious. Very interesting comparison after the after the Bordeaux wine. And why not with spicy, yeah, spicy yeah, cook? Yeah, yeah. Sometimes mm -hmm. like uh, uh, Mexican food. Well, yeah. uh, it, 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 I, I think I think the the, the wine can uh, can support yeah, can support, support the, uh, the very very spicy mm -hmm. very spicy food.